It is time for Inside Out as we welcome an SNY NBA insider, Ian Begley. And Ian, what kind of vibe are you getting? What are the tea leaves telling you regarding Julius Randle's shoulder? Right, so we know that there was an MRI taken after the game, after Julius got hurt. Obviously, it's a day later here, so my guess would be there's either more testing that's been done or they're waiting for maybe some swelling to go down. But I think the idea that we haven't heard anything yet maybe suggests that Julius can avoid surgery, but I don't want to jump the gun here because we're waiting for official word. MRI was taken after the game. Maybe they did more testing today, and we await word from the Knicks on the fate of Julius Randle. All right, this is a team that wasn't very deep before Saturday, so what options do they have if they have to replace a guy who was averaging 24-9? Not easy to replace, but you look at the trade deadline, February 8th, and the Knicks had already had some interest in Bruce Brown, uh, the Toronto Raptor, and so that they could go there. This might make them even more interested in a Bruce Brown. There's also a Harrison Barnes available, potentially, out in Sacramento. So there are players that they can go get out on, in the trade market. But one thing that I heard that I thought was interesting, uh, prior to this injury, there was some thought internally about sticking together and not doing much at the deadline because the team had been playing so well in the wake of the OG and an OB trade. But again, that was pre-Julius Randall injury. All right, so that's making a deal. But as the roster is currently constituted, what adjustments do you expect Tom Thibodeau to make starting on Monday in Charlotte? Yeah, I think he'll either go Josh Hart in the starting lineup or Quentin Grimes in the starting lineup. And then, you know, you're just loading up the starters with big minutes and they're used to that. And I think that, you know, you tighten up your rotation to eight players or maybe you use a Jericho Sims in spot minutes if you need to go bigger. Maybe if you're looking for shooting, you go Evan Fournier. But I would look for either Hart or Grimes to go into that starting lineup. And if I'm betting... I'm probably betting on Hart, but we'll see how it goes. Well, it certainly is going to be interesting to see how the Knicks respond as it appears their season is at a crossroads. Ian Begley, thanks for joining us here on Honda Sports Night.